I'm usually on top of my finances too. I just need to get back to the hockey, you know, and start earning. There's no need to explain, Andy. We all go through bad patches. Big Sheila, like. She can't get her head on bills, bless her. Anyway, come on. I'll treat you to a session. Hey. Okay. Show you some of the old magic. And I got a new top. I need to need it. See what I've done? You know that saying, give me liberty or give me death. Only I've remixed it a bit, you know, like Jive Bunny. Did Lenny Henry really say that? No, it was Patrick Henry. Stupid twat of the embroiders. Monsieur'd me, didn't he? Can hardly see the Lenny Henry though, can you? Just imagine it says Patrick Henry. Clever, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Put it on now. Are you okay, Andy? Yeah. You have just described all the symptoms of dartitis, you have. My heart goes out to the poor bastard. Dartitis? Bristol, King, Holden, Albertina Westlands, Mark Walsh. Even Philip Powers had a dose of it. What is it? What is it? It's the dart player's worst fucking nightmare. You can't throw. What's wrong? What? It's you. You do not think that I that I taught you. No, I'm not. I can't do it. Knock it off. Do you want us to stop filming? Knock it off! I wouldn't want to be in Andy's head at the moment. How long does it last? Could be days. Could be decades. I had it once. So how does one overcome dartitis? Who knows? It's all part of his master plan, I suppose. Whoever said he moves in mysterious ways was bang on. All right, Simon. Oh, yeah. He's still filming, is he? Hey, never mind about that. You put the gentleman in the shed. I caught next door's cat sniffing around it last night. I don't want to be responsible for cats getting off their tits and talking to dead people. He had a talent, see? Drunk testing in darts. You remember Gaz? Ex rent boy with a smack habit. You, you bought him a bagman. I want to state clearly I did not personally buy him heroin. Tell him what I done for you, Gaz. What? Huh? Well, now I helped you, man. Oh, yeah. Halloween's got me off the smack. All right, you haven't touched any for two months. You're like a new man, no? Well done, both of you. Wasn't easy, though, was it, Gaz? That's where my talent is, see? I'm not just a mentor, I'm a motivator as well. And I guess. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, uh, I'm not pitching here, right? But if there's any MPs out there watching this, they couldn't go far wrong if they gave me a job working with problem teenagers. So how did you get them off the heroin, Alwyn? Jenk them. Got them on the piss and shit. Right off the smack now, wasn't you, guys? Yeah. Can I go now? So, when you told me you got him off the heroin, Alan, I assumed that you got him clean. Well, he is clean. Clean as smart. Hey, listen. He was selling his ass and burgling houses to buy gear. Jenkum cost peanuts, man. All you need is a couple of milk bottles and a, a packet of balloons. I told you before. It's the ultimate credit crunch drug. Yes, I but... have done society a favour, I have. There's people around here can sleep easy in their beds at night. Now I've got him sniffing shit. Have a seat. So he shed some timber then? Sorry? Andy, lost some weight. Yes, quite a lot. Uh. Rodri Evans got dark like this after he got a superbug when he was in hospital. Went down to 17 stone in a breath, he did. He haven't checked a dart since. Equilibrium, see? As soon as you start messing with that, you never know where you might end up, as far as the darts is concerned. Right. Or it could be psychological. In Rodri Evans' case, it was probably both. Shadow of a man. 
Just chases buses and pisses himself now, poor bastard. Big Sheila is pregnant. Do you think that might have an effect on Andy? How far gone is she? A couple of months. You kept that quiet? Well, you don't exactly speak to them. Yeah, you know what it's like around here. You can't fart without everybody knowing what you had for breakfast. I put a whole new slant on it, that does. So, do you think the pregnancy and the dartitis are connected? I'm no sports psychologist, right? But if you want my semi-professional opinion, I put money on it. Do you think you'd be able to do something for Andy? Like, how did you beat dartitis? Come on. Yeah. Take these to Andy and tell him to read them. Have you just stolen those books? I forgot my library card. You can't you that? I just have oh, run. This is ridiculous. Oh. If you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him. Go into pieces without falling apart. Freedom from the known by J. Kishnut Kirshnami. J. Krishnamurti. Oh, that's the fellow that reads the news on Channel 4 now. What's he know about darts? No, Andy, he's a spiritual philosopher. What, as well as knowing the news and darts? No. The man who wrote the book, J. Krishnamurti, he's a philosopher. Krishnan Gurumurti reads the news on Channel 4. I don't understand any of this. Alwyn thinks they might help you. Books? Help me? How can books help people? With your dark I told you, I haven't got dark like this. Right, okay. Anyway, if I did, how could a book help me? Alwyn feels they might free you up a little. Free me up? I haven't got constipation. He says they helped a, a player he knew who had dart who couldn't throw properly. See, you got no right to go blab into Alwyn about my throwing. Alwyn's only got your best interests at heart. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, he said some terrible things about Big Sheila in the past. <laughs> and at the end of the day, she's my manager. And my wife. Right, I understand. You know, I know Big Sheet is not Alwyn's cup of tea. But you know, the worst case scenery is I married her. And he should respect that for better or worse. Like it says in the Bible, innit? Hmm. Gotta get out of here. I always come here when I'm down. Cheers me up. Cheers you up. Yeah, well, it makes you realise there's always people worse off than you. This is where my mum's buried. The headstone says George Griffin, Andy. Aye. Well, George was her brother when they were alive. She was cremated, see? So we put a piece of her in a jar and buried her. Because she never said whether she wanted burying or burning. And like Big Sheila said, she got the best of both worlds now, haven't she? You know, I saved having to buy the plot as well. So, you know, respectful and cheap. Is your father buried here? Oh, no, he's still in my sister's garage years. I didn't know you had a sister, Andy. Oh, yeah, twin. We're not identical, like. You never mentioned her before. Oh, no, she's in Coventry. You sent it to 